much. Thanks, Albert. How about it for Albert, folks, huh? All right. Where's the anti-smoking booth? All right. You guys mind if I smoke one? What do you like? You can't smoke? Oh. All right. There you go. Find some around if you want. Light them up. I can't help it. I'm addicted to smoking, so. And yet, I only smoke like a half a pack a day. I tell my friends I'm addicted to smoking, and they're all like, "Yeah, we really feel bad for you." <laughs> Little trick, yeah, on each other. So, welcome to Way More Weekend. Isn't it? Isn't it just way more? What the fuck is that? What is that? Is that you set up the whole thing for that? All right. There should be a mushroom booth right next to you. I think that'll work. I stopped doing the drugs, by the way. I don't do the drugs. I don't smoke pot anymore. You know why I don't smoke pot anymore? Just say no commercials. What a powerful anti-drug message that is. Especially when you're high. It really hits home, doesn't it? You're high. Some guy comes on TV. Just say no. You're like, huh? Uh, no. Ah. Uh, no. This is easy. When you're high, drug public service announcements don't even make sense. You're high, some guy comes on TV holding an egg. This is your brain. Holy shit. I'm in my living room and my brain's on channel four. What am I gonna do? And they take your brain, crack it with a pan and fry it up. This is your brain on drugs. You're high, you're thinking, geez, I can go for some eggs. A little cheese, a little bacon, I'll make an omelet, but I'm high, I got all these questions. What came first, my brain or a chicken? No, that's wrong. Egg is my brain, a chicken's my mother, no. I guess my brain of chicken is God. Wow. Colonel Sanders is the Antichrist. Holy shit. I used to smoke a lot of pot and go to the... Any Grateful Dead fans here? <laughs> Snapping the fingers. They're playing Madison Square Garden all week. I love the Grateful Dead. I especially love a couple of years ago, Jerry Garcia stopped touring because of diabetes. I thought that was perfect. Here's a guy who's done more coke, pot, shrimp, and acid than any man alive. What finally puts him away? A Twinkie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think the guys in the band are giving him shit about that. Hey, uh, Jer, after the show tonight, we're uh, getting a cake. You in? <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend who followed the dead around in a van for two years. I asked him what it was like. He was like, it's really cool. They play all over the country, but they never announce their shows. Huh. Sounds like they're trying to lose you. <laughs> I don't think they're touring. I think they're being chased. People don't give anybody, you know, they don't give young people credit, though, and then in terms of the music and the lifestyle and all that, they're always trying to cut down, like, with censorship, like, uh, rap albums, especially. Like, uh, Ice-T comes out with a song called Cap Killer, and everybody freaks out. Oh, we have to get the song off the album, because all the kids will hear the song, and then they'll go out and kill cops. You know, because it's in the song. Duh. What's the correlation between lyrics and action? Christ, Julie Andrews is saying, climb every mountain, I don't go hiking every weekend. It's, it's a fucking song. There are some vicious rap groups, I'll give you that. Crisscross, you know. <laughs> the other day I was sitting in my house, they came to my door, they kicked it in, they made me jump, jump. They weren't fucking around. I wanted to sit, sit. They said, to jump, jump. I said, I won't. They said, if you don't jump, jump, we're gonna give you a wiggity, 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 whack. Well, right. You're more than I can handle. Certainly our government is not. Our government is the biggest bully going. Our government is the bully government. We bombed Somalia. First we fed them, of course. Did you have a nice sandwich? Good. Now 